Hello everyone, my name is Ryan King and welcome to this tutorial series where I'm going to be showing you how to create this Super Star Destroyer bridge scene in Blender. So this is a five part tutorial series, the entire thing will be free on my YouTube channel and through the tutorial series I'll show you how to create step by step this finished render right here. And a quick disclaimer, this is totally fan art from Star Wars, so I'm not taking any credit for the concept or design of the final render, this is fan art from Star Wars. And what's so cool about this tutorial series is that as well as creating the entire environment, I'm also going to show you how to create this Darth Vader character right here, looking out of the windows on the Star Destroyer. Now don't get too excited, I'm not going to be modeling an entire detailed Darth Vader character, because that would take a really long time to make and that would be something for a completely different tutorial series. So in this tutorial I'm just going to show you how to create the back of his helmet and also his cape right here, but I will be showing you how to create this Darth Vader character and then we'll be putting him into the Star Destroyer bridge scene. So in part one of the tutorial series we're going to start modeling the environment. And then in part two, we're going to be doing more modeling. Then in part three, we're going to be modeling all the sci-fi details. So we're going to be modeling all the little buttons and things on the panels and also up on the ceiling and things like that. And then in part four, we're going to do all of the lighting and the UV unwrapping, and we'll also be adding the textures and materials. And then in part five, the last part, we're going to be creating Darth Vader. And we're also going to be doing the rendering and the compositing and finishing up the final image that you can see right here. And I will be using Blender Eevee for this tutorial, but you could also use the Cycles render engine if you want to. I just switched over the render engine to Cycles and the result looks almost exactly the same. So if you want to do it in Cycles or Eevee, both will work great. But I will be using Eevee in the tutorial. And you can also purchase the finished tutorial files on my Gumroad and my Patreon page. I'll have the links in the description. And that's also a really great way to help support me and this YouTube channel. Because I am trying to make Blender tutorials and content for a living. So your support is very much appreciated. And then also in this tutorial series, I will be downloading this Metal 038, and this is a free texture on ambientcg.com, and I'll be downloading the 4K JPEG, and I'll have the links in the video description to all the textures that I'm going to be using. So you can download this right now if you want to, or I'll also remind you in the future parts of the tutorial series, and you can download this and use it in the tutorial. And then also in the last part when we're creating Darth Vader, when we're creating his cape, I'm going to be using this Fabric 012, and this is again a free texture from AmbientCG.com. So I'm going to be downloading the 4K JPEG, so you could download this right now if you want to, or you can download this later on in the tutorial series. And then the last resource that I'm going to be using is this reference image right here. So this is a reference image that I created, and we're going to use it to help us model the windows for the Star Destroyer. So I'll have a free download of this reference image on my Gumroad and Patreon, and if you'd like to help to support me, you can throw a dollar into the price box on Gumroad before you purchase this reference image to use for the tutorial, and that's a great way to give me a tip and help to support this channel. Alright, and this is going to wrap it up for the introduction video, so I'll be posting part one soon after I upload this video, and then I'll be uploading one part each day of the tutorial series. So thank you for watching, I hope you enjoy the tutorial series, and I will see you in the first part of the tutorial tutorial.